Uh, before we do start with the hot seat, I, I just want to say personally, we're very lucky to have this guy, as, as most of you guys know, as our head coach. Give him a big round of applause, Mark Carlson. And you know, it always seems like in sports, you see, you know, coaches, players jumping around. We've been very fortunate to keep this guy here in Cedar Rapids. Yeah, we've very kept this guy for what, 13, 14 seasons now, and, and uh, I think it's 13 seasons now, but starting back in 99, bringing this team in and starting up in 2000, the fall 2000. It's, it's been great to have you here, and, and you're, you're obviously uh, kind of a, a local celebrity here in, in Cedar Rapids in the whole eastern Iowa area. So uh, we always look forward to, uh, to seeing your picture in the newspaper and on TV and everything. So, Well, thank you guys. I certainly enjoy being here. So we'll only ask you a few questions, but uh, we'll, we'll start with some easy ones. Any, uh, any, any memories uh, of this year, of, of the gang, of the, of the bus rides? There's always a lot of stories, and I know we're in a, in a banquet hall full of over 100 people here, but anything that... Nobody's given us a real good story. We've had a couple, but I think we're, we're expecting a real good one from you if you got anything. Well, and there's a couple good ones. Um, <laughs> one of the things that, that just came to mind when Moldy came up to sing is that Every time we go, or not every time, but a lot of times we go on road trips and, and, and people will, will say to me, oh, geez, you know, how do you, these trips, they must be terrible. You know, you got to be on the bus and the hotels and the restaurants and all these types of things. And, and uh, you know, you must get sick of it and everything else. And it's, it's a heck of a lot of fun uh, being on the bus and in the restaurants and the hotels and obviously playing the games on the road with the guys. And so what you witnessed tonight with Moldy coming up, and or, well, yeah, he was going to stand on the chair, then he came up here. So <laughs> picture the same scenario in somewhere like Kalamazoo, Michigan, in the Outback Steakhouse, <laughs> filled with people, with people waiting in line to get seated, and someone shoe-checking somebody, which means that one of the guys put uh, probably ranch dressing on someone's shoe. <laughs> and they were, you know, so they got shoe-checked. And, and one of the guys standing up in a full restaurant of strangers and doing what Moldy did, and that uh, you know th those things never get old. Uh, so those are some of the things that um, some of the stories that we can tell in front of people uh, that that go on on the road. Oh, I was going to be going next. Oh, okay. Well, getting to go to all these different cities is uh, you know James and I were, we were kind of talking earlier about you know different fun places to go to eat, and we were we were talking with a couple of the young guys over there about. Uh, some of these different fun restaurants you were just mentioning one of the funny stories there is is there kind of a, a particular city that you guys like to go to or is it just always coming home and and, and uh, you know going to see what Tammy's cooked up for you at home <laughs> uh, popular city I don't um, I'm, not, I'm not sure I mean there, there's a lot of great buildings that's for sure you know we, we enjoy getting out and playing on the road and, and uh, I don't know if there is a particular uh, particular favorite um, right now, but uh, you know, we, we love being at home and playing at home, that's for sure. And uh, you know, wherever we go on the road, uh, you know, we get excited about it. Because you know, Green Bay is not a very good city. Waterloo is not a good, I mean, what, what, what kind of question is that? No, I'm just joking, I'm just joking. So, uh, but, but again, we're, we're very fortunate to have you, you know, and uh, continue to have Coach Carlson with us for, for many years to come. And, and, and a tough question, but I'm just going to ask you, what is it you like most about coaching this team each and every year? What is it that, that keeps you going and the drive and just the thing that you love most? Well, it's, uh, I think that it's a great question. And every year, uh, you know, I, I come to this banquet and, you, and obviously our season's not over yet, but you, you look up at the video screen and, you, you know, great video that, that Amber put together and you see the community service and you see the hockey side of it and, and I, I really consider myself to be lucky to, to have the opportunity to, to work with young men at, at, at this age, anywhere from, uh, you know, some guy started at 15 and, and, and Goody's 27. And uh, <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, it's, it, it's just tremendous stuff. Um, you know, I've, I've been having some, some fun with my housing son on that, on that one now multiple times. And, and uh, it, it, it just, it, it just uh, when you feel like you can play a small role, hopefully, in, in helping the guys get better on the ice and, and, and off the ice and helping them move on to school, and, and, and then when they go on and, and, um, and, and have success, whether it's, whether it's uh, outside of hockey or, or with hockey, uh, and if you played a small part, that's, that's a pretty neat thing. And to me, at least, at least just for me, for what I've done, you know, what I do, hold a microphone for an hour and a half each and every game, but the people that I get to work with, Coach, and I'm sure you feel the same way, Mark, Larissa, and the rest of the folks, 
it's really like a big family. I mean, this is a family. Why would you want to go anywhere else than Cedar Rapids? You know, it's, it's, a, good, it's a good group of people, and it's just, for me, it's just something I look forward to each week, is going to the stable and seeing these people that I call family, and I, I'm sure you feel the same way. I do, I do, and I'm, uh, and I'm glad that you, uh, glad you feel that way as well. And, and it is, junior hockey is a very special thing, and when you look out and you look at where all the, the guys are from, and the, uh, you know, we, we've got guys from, uh, you know, three provinces in, in, in Canada and all over the United States, and to see them come together, and especially with this group, and I've told them that, uh, the, the way that they've come together, and, um, you know, when you, you see a guy, for instance, like, uh, you know, like, like Dylan Grow, you know, we, we, we call him G, take uh, somebody like Marshy under his wing and, um, and, and to see those two get along the way that they do. Um, it's, it's just, it's just, it's good to be a part of stuff like that. Well, and kind of like you've already mentioned, uh, you know, getting to, to watch these, these players come through the season and see how they grow just from what, back in August when we start up the season till April, uh, you know, maybe even May when, when you get into the playoffs and everything. Uh, and then to go that little bit further, though, when you see these guys go up into college and you might still get to talk with them a little bit, you hear some of the players that, that it might even uh, get some NHL prospects. And I, I believe that you have, what, about 10 or 11 guys that are, that are currently signed in the NHL that have played under your wing before. Uh, it's got to be a real honor to see them uh, just grow as individuals and as young men and then to, uh, to succeed in their goals. It, it is. It's, it's nice to be a, uh, a, a small part of that. And, and, and yeah. You know, sometimes I've been a little bit remiss. I, I tend to, because of my passion for hockey, I, I tend to kind of drift towards the guys that have, that have, have signed NHL contracts and have played in the NHL. And I, you know, a couple months back, I got, I got a nice email from a player that, that went on and had a real nice college career, but then went into business and was very, very successful in business and actually turned, turned the company around and, and, and sold it for a huge profit. And it's one of those, you know, you, you get a nice email saying that, you know, maybe some of the disciplines here and, and some of the things that the guys don't like on a daily basis, uh, he, he felt that those things helped him, you know, and to, to play a small part in that and, and to have the opportunity to be with uh, people this age every day, I, I think I'm, I'm very, very lucky. All right, well, that's uh, Coach Mark. My producer's asking me, they, they want to know the, the age of the birthday tomorrow for, for Jeff. Is the, Amber, why are you asking me that? What, do you know the official age of his birthday tomorrow? I think it's uh, 35. 35. Happy 35th. Give him a round of applause, everybody. Jeff, you 35th birthday. And do me another favor and give this gentleman, Mark Carlson, another big round of applause. Happy to have him with us in the Cedar Rapids Rough Riders. Thank you, sir. Thank you.